Um, Lane, I want to ask you this. Uh, Nick Sirianni, first-year head coach here in Philadelphia, what was it like meeting him, and what are your first impressions of your new head coach? So I, I'm really excited. He's, uh, you know, obviously it's a new head coaching job, new situation to step into, but he's got a great attitude when it comes to how he's going to approach it. I mean, he's a very team-first oriented coach, which – I think those are the special teams. It's what we had at Alabama whenever we have great teams. It's, you know, it's no matter how talented guys are, especially at this level, I mean, you're, you know, the the top 10% of people, you know, 10% either way physically, you're, everybody's the same. So, you know, it's it's really about those those teams that are really, you know, a family. They're all connected as one, and they, they just love to play football and they love to play for each other. So, uh, that's what he's all about, and that's what I'm really excited about because those teams are special teams, and those teams win a lot of football games. So he's he's got a great approach, in my opinion, of what he's doing. He's going about it the right way. Uh, we have a great offensive and defensive scheme in. A lot of tremendous players returning, a lot of talent, um, you know, a lot of older guys that have experience. So I'm, I'm really excited about what this year holds for us. Uh, is it true you did beat him in rock, paper, scissors? Yes. What'd you throw first? Uh, oh, that's tough. That's, that's been a while. I I honestly don't remember. You just blacked out, and went in the zone of rock paper scissors, yeah, and took care I of business. Think it just pure pure competitiveness. I was like, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna lose this. It's made me, and I, I don't get drafted by these guys. <laughs> and then you can't enjoy the fine meals in Philadelphia, and you can't get a, a nice Philadelphia parking ticket. So the, it's exactly. all the exactly. It so all everything, everything worked out in the end. Uh, just, I want to ask you about your two other uh, Alabama teammates real quick. Uh, behind the scenes, you've, you've talked about them a little bit in Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. What's something you can tell us about Devontae Smith that we might not know already? Uh, I, don't, I feel like I feel like a lot of social media perception of him is he's kind of like quiet and reserved, but Smith is a funny guy. Um, I don't I don't know if you guys will see it, but I've seen Smith. Smith is a character. He's he's a funny dude. Like, like he's he's a prankster, or he's got one-liners. What kind of yeah, funny he, is he? He's got some good one-liners. I'll say that he he knows he knows when to use them. They're they're kind of few and far between, but he he's got some good ones now. So uh, and uh, and Jalen Hurts. What can you tell us about Jalen Hurts behind the scenes? Uh, Jalen Jalen's the same way. He's he's a great dude, great teammate, funny guy. He's uh, I you know I didn't have a whole lot of interaction with him because he actually he left Alabama right when I came in there. So. Mm -hmm. Um, really just kind of I'm getting to know him now, really just like everybody else is. Good to hear. Uh, Landon Dickerson, welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thanks for being on the show here, joining us on the Zados Investments guest line. Landon, thanks, bud.